so you guys can hear me. So I just dropped off my mother. Now I'm just going back to the house. Hope I can get some filming done, so. This is gonna be a very short drive, honestly. Cause I live like right down the street. But how are you guys doing? Still trying to continue this uh, vlogging. For those of you who watched my last video, I appreciate it. I'm okay, by the way. <laughs> it's just a way for me to vent, so. I'm good. I'm getting the help that I need. Physically and spiritually, I guess. <laughs> so today, I'm planning on uh, filming and uh, doing a TikTok. I'm trying to do two TikToks. See, I wanted to upload it on Monday because they're going to be monologues. So I want to do monologue Monday, but it's not Monday because I didn't film yesterday. But you know, it's like, it's whatever, man. There's really no set rules. I feel, do what you want, post when you want. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I mean, I do believe in algorithms and stuff like that, so. I mean, I believe those stuff is good and helpful, but at the end of the day, people are going to see it, and people are going to watch it. If they don't, they don't. If they do, they do. So, I'm going to try to do these two TikTok videos for a monologue Monday, even though it's Tuesday, but you know, whatever. And I gotta edit these pictures. Well, not so much edit, but post these pictures for the homies IG that I've been managing. He should be a model by now. <laughs> oh, dang, he's fine. That's the first time I've seen him without his mask. <laughs> Ooh. I should like break something in my apartment <laughs> and call him over. <laughs> Why are maintenance men are like, they low-key kind of hot. I hate when people like park in the middle of a section like, you don't own the road. It might sound like I have road rage, but trust me, I don't. So that was an issue on long drive, so. All right. So my next objective for the, these uh, TikTok videos, I need to find outfits that symbolizes or represents these characters. So, um, I don't know if I have anything, so I'm just going to do my best and find whatever I have. So, um, I'm going to go through my stuff and, uh, see, and, um, then I'm going to set my ring light up and, uh, we'll get the filming, um, I think I already have the um, the lines down packed already because they're super short. But all right, what if this will be my like my acting debut? <laughs> uh, he's an actor now. <laughs> well, not yet. At least someday, soon. <laughs> I was thinking this for Scar, cause you know, he was, he's a dark soul. Can you see me? Okay. He's a, he's a dark soul, so I'm thinking of using this for Scar. I'm gonna have my orange pants on to 
represent the color of his fur. And this is going to be for Simba. I don't know why, just because. You know, yeah. Okay. Next, I gotta get the pants. I think these pants are perfect because with the orange. So it 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 work. It's it work. But I think I need to look up the <laughs> the script <laughs> because. Your boy is smart and can retain lines, but it doesn't hurt to have a reference. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I gotta start over. <laughs> hey, Uncle Scar, when I'm king, what does that make you? <laughs> You're so weird. So now, <clears throat> so now I gotta do the second part. I despise guessing games. Oh, goody. Well, forgive me for not leaping on my back. Oh. Let's try it again. Hey, Uncle Scar. Guess what? I despise guessing games. I'm going to be the king of Pride Rock. Oh, goody. He showed me the whole kingdom, and I'm going to rule it all. <laughs> well, forgive me for not jumping for joy. Got back, you know. Hey, Uncle Scar, when I'm king, what does that make you? A monkey's uncle. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. So I just finished the first one and I like the way it turned out. But I, uh, it, it was, it was for the art of it and I, these plants are fake, but I'm gonna see if I can like super glue them. <laughs> the things I do for art, I guess. <laughs> but it's okay. So, something bad happened. <laughs> my shirt's got to my earring. <laughs> and I can't get it off. I guess it won't make more sense to take off my earring, but... It's hard when this shirt is attached. <laughs> and I'm almost done filming the TikTok. Got one more part. <laughs> Alright, let me...
mission complete. Next is to edit. I don't know if I should post them or not, but you know what? Why not? I just talked about this. As soon as I'm done editing, I don't know how long it's going to take me. But, yeah. So, um, yeah. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but glad I did it. So, um, if you want to see it, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> So, I was just randomly on Facebook, and um, this sun is going down. And an old high school friend of mine, well, I, I reached out to him, kind of. I sent him a friend request, because, like, whatever. Then right after I sent him a friend request, he uh, messaged me. Then we started talking. And I wanted to hang out with him. But I didn't want to come off like it was something else. Because, I don't know, he's kind of like that type of person. But, I mean, he's cool and all, or whatever. And I wanted to hang out with him. But I didn't want to give him the wrong impression. And just randomly, he's like, hey, if you got the car, let's hang out. And I was like, okay, bet. So, I'm on my way to see my, uh to say something else <laughs> to see an old high school friend of mine all right This dude fruity in the booty for real. We on another episode of Hard Knocks. You feel me? Dog. Hey man, let me tell you about something, dog. Like for real. Shout out to my dogs now. Shout out to the hood. Shout out to everybody. You need to go ahead and take care of your kids. And all. You feel me? Take care of your mama. Take care of your daddy. Take care of everybody that supposedly praying for you and all, dog. Go on here and get on this mic, dog. You want to say something? Look, look, look. Say something. Say something. What? Oh, 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 oh. Nah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, baby. You better come here, little baby. <laughs> but look at this right here, man. Crackhead that don't came around, man. Go on ahead and flip that camera around, dog. Oh, yeah. But it's beating through her. Look at this, man. What we gonna do with it right here, bro? We gonna make a dollar. Man, crackhead came around. Crackhead came around the corner, dog. I'm for real, man. Crackhead came around the corner talking about, hey, bro, can I get eight dollars? Can I get eight dollars for all this right here? Man, nigga, you gonna get like a two dollar from me, my nigga. Bro, I barely made like a dollar off of this little scrap, bro. Like, for real, I take this over there to the scrap yard, bro. Ain't nothing but a whole bunch of plastic, dawg. Man, all right, now. I'm going to drop the mic just like, bloop. I'm going to drop the mic, mic. dawg. I'm going to drop the mic, dawg. Hey, I'm going to drop the mic, dawg. I got that good mic, too. Yeah, that thing sound good, don't it? Uh-huh. That thing sound good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That thing sound good, don't it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't suck your head. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all Yo, wanna see something? This nigga is short. Well, he'll beat your ass. This nigga about three feet. This nigga about three feet. He gonna beat your ass. Look. <laughs> look at this right here. Watch this. Watch this. You wanna see something? Look. 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 
Then it go by three feet. <laughs> All right, so if you made it to the end of the vlog, I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing this and uh, making content and and stuff. So I have an idea. I uh, want to do a uh, three-way vlog with three of my friends. One you just met in the last clip, and the other one that I was talking about in the beginning, and his name is Desmond. So, me and Desmond don't really live together, but we still travel together. And I want to do like a three-way vlog where we don't always have to like be together, but It'll be like a point of view of three different people. But uh but for this one, thanks for watching. <laughs> he recently sent me uh his audition to this um agency that I that I referred him to and um uh he lets me use it. <laughs> That's not what I say. So I'm gonna put that clip in because I think thing that's pretty cool and and um I wanna document people's beginnings, middles and ends, I guess. <laughs> but uh thank you for watching and um I'm about to go enjoy life now. <laughs> you should too do this. <laughs> What's up? My name is Desmond and I'm twenty two years old and I currently live in Georgetown. Texas and as you see back here um, is my little home studio and as you see right there is my favorite drink organic coconut water um, and I have a new FL studio session right here because after this video I'm just gonna get to working on this that's what I'm gonna be doing all day um, I'm also known as first class like always it's my producer name if you want to look me up you can I'm on Apple Music Spotify uh, YouTube I'm on, I'm on all the platforms you can just look me up first class like always no spaces and all my music should pop up and then some songs that I made for other people. You can check out my Instagram too. Like uh, majority of the songs that I worked on that I've released publicly um, are on there. Uh, it's definitely not an easy uh, job, easy career, easy task. But I just do it because it's fun. It's something that just you know makes my mind go other places. I can be like super creative, even though it's on the software. Um, I connect with people that way. So the one thing that really makes me unique is I go after whatever I want to like. I cannot be stopped like my focus is just like I don't even know how to call it maybe like tunnel vision focus might be a little cliche but it's deeper than that it's like anything that doesn't align with my vision um, or what I'm going for is like it, it just gets pushed to the side um, but I still maintain you know a great judgment of you know maybe what I should be doing what I shouldn't and I, I can realize and be conscious of what I am doing um, another thing that makes me unique is I'm very, very fearless. Now, there are some times where I do get a little pressure on myself and I have to be like maneuvering and figure out um, how to go about in a situation, but I really don't carry a lot of fear with me. Uh, reason being is because if I carry fear with me, I wouldn't be able to accomplish majority of the things that I've ac accomplished so far in this life. The hardest way to navigate as a 22-year-old in today's society is knowing or think you know what is best and what is right this is one way that i will be able to enhance my career and i will be able to have more fun in life and that's why once again i'm thankful and grateful for this opportunity and i'm going to take it like regardless like i said i'm, I'm pushing a lot to the side just for this and you know it's not hard to commute into austin or find another place to stay because i do live 45 minutes away and I do have connections out there that are stronger than ever before through music, not film, but, you know, through film, it would be with whoever's watching this video. And the goal that I have from this summer into the end of the year is just to strengthen those relationships that I have, um, not just in Austin, not just in Georgetown, but all over the United States and maybe other parts of the world as well, depending, you know, on the um, amount of work that I put in to actually make those connections. Because at the end of the day, it's all about how hard you have worked and what impact you have made uh, to other people's lives. 
is what strengthens those relationships. So, so that's one thing that I'm going to keep working on and during that time to reach my goal is have those targets set up to where how can I impact everyone's life to the point where I can connect with them on whatever wavelength level it is to expand and grow as a human being. So, yeah, I am expecting a lot out of this opportunity and this situation, and I'll see how far I can take it. This is one step, and all I can do is just keep moving up, and that's what I will do. So once again, thank you. Whenever you're watching this, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, good night, and I appreciate this. Yeah.